Thank you for having me here. It's such an honor to discuss the Russian trolls and how to counter them and prevent them from causing any more international damage in the future. I will tell you what I have found out in my investigations as well as give you recommendations how to prevent the damage in the future. Five years ago, I started to investigate the Kremlin's tool of information psychological warfare, Russia's use of paid online propaganda workers. Thanks to the brave Russian journalists who had infiltrated the St. Petersburg-based troll factory already in 2013, we knew that a shady office paid people to build fake identities and profiles on social media. These trolls pretend online as real people and produce pro-Putin and pro-Russian comments on an industrial scale. According to leaked emails between the factory supervisors and employees, the trolls' mission was to shift the balance of online discussions by increasing comments supportive to Putin, thus manipulating real people online. Back then, in 2014, the Russian trolls in Finland attacked mostly opinion leaders, for example, our then defense minister. I wanted to investigate how the trolls influence and impact in the general audience, the ordinary internet users. Did they have any meaningful impact or influence on them, on Finnish real people's ideas, attitudes, and even behavior? I found several influence methods which are still actively in use by the trolls today. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, every other social media comment sections of traditional media and Russian discussion forums were abused already back then to spread lies benefiting the Kremlin. The trolls smeared Western leaders as Nazis and fascists, blamed the US, NATO and the European Union for the war in Ukraine, claimed Russian soldiers never stepped their foot in Ukrainian soil. The Russian embassy in Helsinki supported these social media operations. In addition, anonymous operators formed groups on Facebook and conducted other psychological operations against civilians. The trolls indeed had impact on real Finnish people. Some Finnish who I interviewed told me that they had stopped discussing Russia-related issues online altogether just to avoid the death threats and name-calling that would follow from the trolls after they did that. Thus, the digital operations had succeeded in both silencing and importing fear into Finnish public debate about Russia. That is a profound threat to people's freedom of speech coming from a hostile foreign power. But there was more. Some people had lost the idea of what's true and what's not. For example, in the case of Ukraine. Disinformation had again succeeded in manipulating real people's thoughts. It's difficult to make decisions who to vote for or whether to view Russia as the aggressor in Ukraine or not, after you aren't sure what's factually even happening. Russia wants to brainwash useful idiots. My most disturbing finding, in my own opinion, was that some people who are subjected to propaganda believe it and spread it further in their own networks. I also learned that not everyone are influenced, but some people are and they need protection. Later, I started to investigate attacks on private Western individuals, as I was myself made the target of Russian originating and still ongoing defamation campaign because of my work. For almost five years, I have been defamed in Russian fake news sites, in Finnish pro-Kremlin racist and hate speech fake news sites, uh, by the German RT, uh, by the troll factory, and by countless social media activists and neo-Nazis. The retaliation campaign against me is partly criminal in nature. It has impacted even some of my friends and has led to some of the agitated people threatening to kill me. These are real Finnish individuals. I needed police escort to attend a trial against some of these perpetrators. Police says that I face the threat of impulsive violence if I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. Why? Because Putin's administration's employee and other propagandists want to smear and silence me and scare and stop me from investigating and talking about the troll activity. 
And I'm also somewhat worried to testify here today because I believe it will lead to retaliation against me just like so many other uh, my public appearances last years. Also, the same kinds of operations are ongoing against um, different European and even American people who voice out their criticism uh, or information about Russia or Putin's regime. They become systematically smeared. And finally, I recommend um, the Western governments and international police organizations who, in my view, are uh, in the core of countering this um, international disinformation campaign, they should be treated as what they are. International, politically motivated, organized crime conducted by intelligence officers and paid propagandists. These criminals, they don't want to take your money, they want to capture your thinking and control you. Targeted people are often civilians, they need help. More robust preventive measures from intelligence services are needed. Also, maybe it's time we start to call the Kremlin troll farms and digital disinformation for what they really are, crime factories and digital crime. The word troll farm doesn't come close to describing the destruction of these operations. Countries should also check their legislations on libel, illegal threats, instigating violence, secrecy crimes, privacy breaches, espionage and computer hacks, as they seem to be the Kremlin's favorite online violations used in these operations. The punishments for these crimes are often not enough to prevent this organized crime. The Kremlin also knows that as long as Facebook, Twitter and other social media giants are not properly regulated, they can abuse them as much as they, as much as they can. And just my most important notion today is that the Kremlin's operations continue uninterrupted all the time between and um, during the elections. The trolls are given new themes every day and they will continue unless they are stopped. Thank you. Mr. Kalinsky. Dear Chairman Keating, uh, Ranking Member Kinzinger, 